I have cracked the Amazon cloud engineer role and this notes have helped me to achieve it. If you want this notes, I'll be uploading this on YouTube tomorrow at 7 p.m. on my channel. If you comment down notes and why you need this notes, if 20 people comment on this video, I'll be definitely sharing all my notes, whatever I have help me to crack Amazon principles and all those things I have written. And if you see how the way I have written, please see a leadership principle, customer obsession, uh, GitLab merge request creation and automatic email from Jenkins to the dev team, new branch creation, push rules, commit rules. So for every leadership principle, I have written my own notes guys. And that's how I was able to crack. And not only this, in today's video, I'll be showing you I have rejected Amazon offer also. Okay. And if you are able to see here, uh, Amazon has always been my first choice and my dream company to join. I really, uh, uh, really uh, wanted to work with Amazon being said that I have tried many times to negotiate the salary. Okay. So because of this reason, I was not able to join Amazon. But if you see here, uh, I have also requested them not to block me on Amazon portal, please. And as I will definitely look back to join uh, Amazon. So that's what the request I have placed to them. And uh, because, uh, you know, always a dream company, Amazon has always been a dream company, but due to the package constraints, uh, I asked or requested the HRs not to block me on the portal, but I don't know like what exactly they have done uh, because uh, offer and everything discussions have happened and I rejected Amazon, right? Now let's go to the actual thing, uh, which is the part one of this video where you will come to know what was the Amazon interview experience for a cloud support engineer role. Very important guys, as you are aware, the cloud of Amazon is divided into multiple segments. Let's say EC2, which is an compute segment, right? right? Data, where you have Kinesis, Data Lake, all the things, ELK stacks and all those things. And you have Kubernetes, containers. So Amazon always hires the DevOps and SRE roles in terms of these fields itself. And there are some roles which are project oriented roles also. The primary difference between the cloud support role and the DevOps role for a project is basically the package itself. Okay. So you please apply to both the positions and whichever positions you get the call, get the opportunity and apply for that and sit for the opportunity and grab an offer letter. Now let's assume what was my interview experience. I'll be telling you in next few minutes, stay tuned till the end. If you have liked the video till here, whatever the notes, whatever the things I'm showing here, everything is true. And uh, I, you have to believe me. Okay. There is no way. So now let me tell you how I have applied. I have applied through referrals and Amazon job portal. Referral plays an important role. Even though I, I have applied through the job portal, I didn't got a call, but my friend have helped me to apply over a referral. And immediately after next few days, I got a call. Now, now if you are able to see here, Amazon has total of, uh, very difficult round guys. The round one itself is assessment where you get three hours of time to complete that assessment. It started with uh, basically MCQs, then behavioral, then questions of coding based on Python. So if you see here, I've written everything for you and I'll be telling one by one to you. Now in this MCQ was primarily on the networking part. So Amazon uh, was focusing more on the networks. Uh, what will happen if a Linux system is not working? What are the troubleshooting commands? So that's why I always insist every DevOps engineer should be learning or focusing on Linux, which is a primary important need. Now, after the MCQ on the Kubernetes, EC2 instances, commands, networks, troubleshooting and all those things, you have a second part, which is basically your behavioral round questions. And in this, there will be scenarios given to you based on the Amazon leadership principle itself. Like your teammate is not working properly. How do you guide her, him or her, right? You are struck in a production issue. You don't know anything, how you can get a help. So you have to write some paragraphs for that. And the third thing is three questions. You can do it in Python, Java, and any coding language which you prefer. But the thing was those were actual DSA questions and it was very, very difficult. But for God's sake, I cleared the Amazon coding round. Okay. So that is very much important. And uh, it had helped me uh, to, to go to the level two. Now in this, usually what happens, the HR itself gives all the links to you, what topics you need to prepare, what are the things that you have to do, what components the interviewer will ask, how the interview rounds will be, everything the HR will help you. So that is one of the nice thing uh, for Amazon because Amazon believes that if a resume is selected, the candidate should actually get selected in the interview rounds. 
so if you see here the round number 2 was purely on the technical and the interviewer purely focused on ci cd uh, linux uh, kubernetes along with monitoring tools so uh, you need to understand that whatever i have kept in my resume i was asked on the same so basically they have been told that whatever this guy puts in the resume you ask those things itself so that guy asked me ci cd kubernetes what is the pipeline how the environments are working what are the deployment patterns in your kubernetes architecture uh, how do you manage the environments how the deployment happens what are the tools that have been integrated with the jenkins can you write the jenkins pipeline the code he also gave me some troubleshooting linux things actually so uh, linux is very important as i am telling apart from that he also asked me some python coding questions also so that was to test whether i have done the round 1 by myself or not so luckily i cleared that now round 2 basically what they did was once i cleared the uh, written exam right they scheduled all the rounds within one day so every 2 hours right there was one round so round 1 completed then round 2 round 2 on the afternoon i had so in this round 2 mostly on the linux guys only linux not mostly only linux so what the interviewer focused was uh, more on how the wifi works how the router works how the uh, the phone gets connected to the router uh, what are the troubleshooting activities that you do if the network is not uh, working uh, if the application is down what are the troubleshooting things you will uh, do if uh, suppose you are working on an application and suddenly the application is completely not there in the system what are the things that you will do uh, being a linux system administrator uh in terms of patching in terms of os things in terms of wifi configurations routers and i was not able to answer for your information the 30 to 40% of the questions because i am not a network engineer guys i am a devops and sari engineer so i told him the same but i also told him that please please uh move me to the next round and i will definitely prepare on all the topics that you have asked apart from that i have also given him the confirmation that uh i have done the first two rounds very well uh, and because i am not from the network background i need time to prepare and whatever the hr gives the gave the links i will be putting in the description you can check out that and uh, probably it can help you uh, to prepare some of the linux network commands so round 2 was also completed and then then uh, basically the hr was good and friendly and his name was sajit okay so round 3 was purely again on the on the as i have told you on the uh, sorry the round 3 was purely on the leadership principles now if you try to understand in amazon there are round 3 and round 4 which will be purely done by the manager uh, person so the round 3 is okay okay where the hr will only tell you who will do your interview and they use chime okay chime is like a microsoft teams or uh, you can get like a slack or, or zoom where you can have a meeting with others uh, so basically uh, they will tell you who will be your interviewer what questions he will ask so primarily if you see here uh they have told me that okay in round 3 someone will ask you about customer obsession the other thing is ownership and the other thing is uh, let's say okay um what is the other one yeah invent and uh, uh, invent and simply apply okay invent and apply or something like this uh, one of the um, amazon principle is there so if you see here for every question okay for every question for every leadership principle i have answered in the star format now what is star please see your situation task action and reaction for example let's say customer obsession okay uh, here my customers are my managers team leads and dev team so you have to tell like this being a devops and sri engineer what work you have done for them gitlab merge request creation new branch creation push rules commit rules creation pom.xml auto versioning increment mysql integration with grafana so all these things you have to tell what was the situation what was the task what was the action and what was the final outcome for your uh, particular automation task and in this way you have to answer almost the one hour all the cross questions he will ask he will also check whether you are a genuine candidate or not and for your information if you need all those details all my interview questions what are the companies i have cracked all those things if you need i have started the batch 11 which is going to start from 29th of march this saturday at uh, 9 am and seats are getting filled i'll be definitely helping you with job support guidance resume preparation mock interviews 14 projects 30 assignments live session what not for 
very affordable price. So think twice, compare my course with all the other platforms, check the placements and then do enroll and suggest your friends also if anyone is looking for a budget and affordable course at this price. And you also can check out my uh, YouTube channel for any kind of projects and mentorship help. Right. So apart from this, if you see here, the round uh, five is again on the on the star format as I have told you, so round four. So 14 years manager have taken a deep dive into Amazon principles like tell me a scenario where your manager gave a negative feedback. Your friend is not doing the work. How do you help him? Right. So one of the important thing is uh, for Amazon, the 14 years uh, manager came and he was really impressed with the answers that I have given and uh, all of them uh, after the four rounds, basically they will sit in a chime call again and they will discuss whether to say yes or no for a particular candidate. And I got after three, four days, I got an update that yes, Praveen, you have selected and the offer discussion was there. Usually for the software developers uh, and for a freshers, the package is like 30 LPA, 40 LPA and 50 LPA, but for DevOps and SRE engineer, the package is a little bit less. But not to worry if Amazon is your dream company, if you don't have any offer, please accept that maybe after the down the line two years, you can definitely go ahead with the good things. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have liked what is star format, how, how are the questions, what are the patterns, why Linux is important. I've discussed everything for Amazon experience. I hope you, you got some help out of it. Definitely like the video, share the link and subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the link with your friends. See you in batch 11 and bye.